Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass, Assassin, what is up? It is almost time, almost the end, almost last, and I'm pretty sure this is the last box of Year of the Dragon that I purchased. If anything that comes out after this, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to buy a box. Uh, if anything, the arrogant might go going to buy another box, but I'm done with buying the box. Right? If there's any more coming out, sticks. All right, we're going to get sticks. Because, you know, they're late to the game. They don't deserve to box. No. <laughs> well, at least for now, I, I'm really not looking forward to getting any more uh, Dragon. I think we went way over what we thought was going to be. And this is it. This is where it has to stop. <laughs> and, and I think that pretty much everything has been released. Um, there's probably three more Dragon Stick after this one that we'll have to review. But... You know, it is going to be double review. I will be sending this to Eric for his opinion. Let's get started. This is the box. All right. If I had to say it, this box is um, between. Um, how do I say it? Between Yield the Dragon Gurkha and Yield the Dragon Rocky Patel. And, and it's really. I want to say upsetting. Is that this box is just uh, taped over with red paper. This is just red red paper taped over. And originally, uh, if you saw half wheel, there should have been some background to this. There's not. It's, it looks clean. It's fine. But don't release a paper that you know. You know. It's just a basic thing that you can put on there. But you removed it. Now it doesn't look nearly as cool. Okay. On the side has... It's also a Dominican sticker, of course. Back says JM Cigar. So back JM Tobacco. Inside, very basic. Same thing as outside. Cigars. The cigar look very thin for 50. Very thin. Okay. So let's pull one out and smoke it. <clears throat> 12 cigar a roll. So 24. And do -do 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 -do. take it out. Mm, all right, let's take a look at this cigar. All right, JN Tobacco Española, Year of the Dragon, 2024. MSRP $13. There is 24 per box. Size is 6x50 Toro, a little thin. Uses Ecuadorian Corojo Habano wrapper. Binder is Connecticut Broadleaf and... Filler is Dominican and Mexican San Andreas, which is, sounds very interesting. So now that we have a cigar, we should get started. All right, so you saw the cigar. It's uh, relatively look beat up, but it's not. And the way they put this bend together, it looks like it almost looked like somebody like copied it and faked it. So it's blurry. It's <laughs> blurry print. This is blurry print. Okay, so I don't know. Whatever they decided, it didn't work out. All right. Oh. It's like grainy, hay like, sweet witness. It actually smells quite pleasant.
leather and hay. A little bit of saltiness too. I want to say it has a little bit of fruitiness, but really doesn't like kind of like half ass. Yeah, saltiness I can taste. The foot is kind of uneven. Ooh. Pepper. Chili pepper. A little bit of sweetness. And then what's in this? Hey. A little bit of leather. Pepper is very forefront. Huh. There is a little bit of like a, like a mineral bitterness. A little bit earthiness. All right. So let me start smoking in first stir and see what note we got. Be right back. Okay, we are at first stir. First stir is after a certain amount of puff, you get coffee, you get nuttiness, you get woodsiness. Fine. Tastes great. And then there's some sort of citrusiness that starts to kick in. You're like, huh? And you guys that watch me smoke the Yield the Dragon, as soon as citrus kicks in, it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing with the citrus? I don't know what I, what they want with the citrus, so I get citrus right now. But there is definitely sweetness. Uh, there's definitely cedar. There's definitely some coffee. There's definitely some nuttiness to it. Just that. I think that citrus is kind of kicking into something else or maybe a fruitiness of some sort, but still tr transitioning. Uh, strength about medium, maybe. Um, yeah, that's what it is so far. Well, let's get to the second, third, look at the band. Yeah. I'm, I'm starting to get scared because of citrus. I don't really like the citrus and the, the woodsiness. It doesn't work for me, so we'll be right back. Second, third. I think the strength that kind of creep up just a little bit. I'm going to call it a medium plus now. Dry is okay. Woodsy. Sweet. Citrusy. There's like this like orange kind of taste to it. It could be good, you know what I'm saying? It could have been good. The, the combination is, is uh, it's interesting. Putting the Mexican signatures as, as a filler is very interesting, but where that citrus came from is just not my thing. It's not my thing. So, but we can look at the band. This is what I'm talking about. Like the band is, is hard to read. Right? It's like why not why why don't you do better? It's not that it's not that it's not that the, the material they use is bad. The material is fine. It's not that the gold they choose is bad, it's good. But the theme, like I think they should have made the Yield of Dragon more shiny. It stands out a little bit more because it's really hard to read. Like especially when it's dark. There's there's no way to read it. See that see that? You can't read anything like that. Right? So that's the problem. But if that's the thing they're trying to go with. And I, I feel like they have trouble sending this cigar everywhere. And I think it is the packaging because if, like I said, this is supposed to have texture on their stock pictures, but they don't. So 
they probably did not get to that paper or the paper never showed up for them to use and the band is probably like that too like they made the wood too small and bold so it's really hard to read you see that if you look closely they're like i don't know the print is just weird All right the print is weird the block shows but because it's bold like you can barely read that handmade in person uh, camera probably easier but it's really hard to read dominican republic you can kind of get it but it's hard to read in person i don't know it works for them it works for them but if your box is like red and gold go with the red and shiny gold like you went with the box kind of go together i think especially the cigar is thin and small right or well, it's tall but thin 50. so that the room is not that much so make it bigger but that's just me, right? So, last there. Be right back. All right, we are done. Now, the last there, I would say just woodsy and citrus. Woodsy, citrus, and maybe a little bit water taste. It could be the cigar is wet a little bit, but it tastes relatively normal. It didn't. In, in terms of the lineup, all, this, all the, you know, the dragon that we try, it's not very amazing. I, I, I wouldn't call that amazing. I think this is just a regular cigar, um, which technically every cigar is a regular cigar. It's just one hits you well and one doesn't. So um, I wouldn't say that it's a bad cigar. I just say it's not a very interesting cigar and it has that citrus that I don't really like. It does kind of help bring out the flavor, but it kind of kills the flavor at the same time. If that makes sense. The price range, 13, is not a bad price range for someone want to try a Guild of Dragon of some sort. Just kind of like join the festivity kind of thing. But I don't have much good things to say about it. That's what it is, right? First of all, we had the box that didn't match the stock. And then we have a cigar that could have been really good, but they, they had a citrus note. I think that that's something that they wanted to do because I'm pretty sure they can remove a cigar, uh, like a, a leaf or something like that. They know that's giving that citrus and fix that. But at the same time, they are trying to do something different, right? To kind of reverse the, the blend. So as supposed to have our cylinders and bra leaf and stuff outside, they put it inside, right? It kills it because I, I do like the, the cylinders taste, but as a filler, it doesn't shine. It doesn't do well. And the pepper just dies. So there's not, not much pepper left. It tingles a little bit, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, unfortunately, this cigar is just what it is. I, I don't have much good thing to say about it. For the Dragon series of all the ones that we smoked, this one wasn't particularly stand out. Doesn't, you know, it's not particularly worse in comparison to Year of the Dragon Davidoff. So, yep, at least I have a good conversation with the boys at the, at the Discord. So that kind of makes it better a little bit, but give and take, give and take, give and take. It's just another day. In terms of the <clears throat> price, I'm gonna give this eight bucks. Eight bucks is where it's at for me. Um, meaning that if I smoke this at eight bucks, I wouldn't complain as much. 13 is like a little bit too high for what you get out of it. But can you try it as a, as a, one of the lower mark for for a yellow dragon cigar? Yes, you can. At the same time, if you gotta ask me, I think the eight dollar punch was better. All right, so. If you want to celebrate Year of the Dragon with a Year of the Dragon Cigar, I'll just part better, right? In terms of price range and all that stuff. So, and that will be it for this particular review. <clears throat> if you like it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out podcasts, check out swag, check out membership. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah, by the way. Make sure to check out <laughs> Eric uh, Midnight Cigar uh, review for this particular cigar as well. Gotta talk about that. It is a double review. Make sure to check it out. See what he thinks. I don't think he's gonna like it, but we'll see. See if I'm right. Alright, now. Bye guys. <laughs>